Okay, here we go. We go to the third match on this great video. We got the New Zealand Sheep Herders against the uh, Sensational Batten Twins, and I can honestly tell you, we were really up for this match. You know, you're right, Bart. Uh, this was one of the biggest matches of our career up to this point. Uh, to be in front of this great anniversary crowd for 88 and a hot night in Bayamone against maybe one of the toughest tag teams in the whole world, the New England Sheep Herders. We were sky high, Hugo. New Zealand Sheep Herders, a great history and championship uh, glories as they were champions in over 34 countries and always represented uh, their country. Even though that flag was used on many occasions to injure a lot of opponents, what, did, what was the feeling when you knew you were against one of the top teams in professional wrestling, man that had defeated a lot of top uh, uh, teams in the world, and not only that, but you know that at any given point, Butch or Luke Williams could do something to permanently hurt you. Well, Hugo, I'm glad you brought that up because I'd like to know and ask you a question. Why does a promotion bring in a team like the New Zealand Sheep Herders to wrestle the Sensational Batten Twins when everybody knows what kind of reputation the Sheep Herders had? We had to put our titles on the line. There were a lot of other teams that could have and should have got a title shot, but yet the promotion decided to bring these two animals in here to come after us. I don't understand that. Well, uh, it could be that the fact that uh, you have defeated so many top teams that they wanted to, to show the people how great the World Wrestling Council uh, champions are, and uh, when you face the Sheep Herders, you are against the best. That's right, Hugo. I hate to, I agree with you, and I hate to disagree with my brother, but... No, wait, uh, wait a minute. You hate to disagree with who? With my brother. I, you know, I disagree with his point of view right there. I think I agree with you. This was a great test for us. I mean, the people know what the New Zealand sheep herders stand for. They know what they expect when they see the New England sheep herders in the ring. And, uh, you know, that just comes with the territory, Bart, and you know that. So, uh, really, I think this was a great test for us because we, uh, we could show the people of the whole world right here that we are as good as any tag team anywhere by beating these guys. I'm a little bit confused because I thought that uh, the twins uh, always uh, think alike and they got the same taste for well, everything. Let me tell you something right now. These guys, as far as I'm concerned, were a hit squad brought in by somebody, probably somebody in the promotion. I don't know. Maybe they thought that uh, we were getting a little bit better than they wanted us to be. I don't know what the situation was, but as far as I'm concerned, deep down underlying it's conspiracy. Regards to what Brad says, regards to what you say, there's more to this than the meets the eye. Oh my goodness, these are serious accusations here. Uh, and I, I have to stop here a second to, to let the, uh, the fans know that we are not responsible for the comments uh, that we just made uh, oh. here. Maybe you should identify the name on one of the bathrooms so we know uh, who just said that because you guys look alike. I don't know who's who here. Well, right now, Hugo, I'm not going to uh, register that comment right there. It's Bart that said it. But here were the sheep herds. They finally attacked us when we came in the ring. There's the big high five, the sensational Batten twins, the crazy train of professional wrestling are doing what they do best regardless of the hit people that the promotion brought in. Well, Bart, you do have to admit that uh, even you might call them hit people, but I'm telling you, they're top caliber competition. And what we did right there is we just outsmarted them right there. I yeah. mean, these guys are smart I, guys. I, I agree with you. If you are the best, you have to wrestle with the best. And this is Brad I'm talking not, now. Yeah, I'm not goes. saying this isn't, uh, they're not a great team. Don't get me wrong here. They're, everybody knows they're a great team. I don't think you guys understand where I'm coming from. Why this particular team? Why not bring in somebody else that don't have the reputation of brawling like these guys? I mean, I mean that's what I don't understand. Yeah, well, that's like uh, getting uh, a, a quick escapade from the top teams. Uh, I think just like in professional football where uh, division leaders play each other on playoffs and in Super Bowls, I think uh, holding the world tag top team titles signify that you have to fight or wrestle the number one challengers. And here is uh, Luke Williams getting some tremendous shots here. Tell you, we were really psyched up for this match right there. And really, well, Who's in the ring right now? Well, it's me in the ring, Hugo Bart. Uh, this is Brad on this end here, and all I want to say is, uh, you know, here uh, there, they got Bart there. That was sneaky right there. But Bart, you know, this was a big night for not only us, but for the World Wrestling Council on Anniversary 88. And what a better team could they have put us against than the uh, Sheep Herders from New Zealand to show the people of the world that this is where it's all happening. Well, you know, Brad, Again, I got to disagree with you and Ugo. You know, everybody know. Oh, there it is. I remember that clothesline right there because that nearly took my head off and came out of nowhere. But you know, 
I'm not saying these guys aren't a great team. I'm saying we should be considered a good team, too. And why should we be tested with a team like that when there's other teams out there that would like a shot at those belts? I'm confused here. I always thought twins uh, think alike, they dress alike, and and uh, I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, let's get back to the action here as uh, the tank uh, has been confused here. Who's in the ring right now? That's me again, Hugo, just slipping and sliding and drop kicking and the sheep hers. And there's those two big noggins together right there. And I'll tell you what, we had them going right there. I don't think the people expected this from the Sensational Batten Twins. I don't think the promotion expected this from the Sensational Batten Twins. But just goes to show you that we're as good as we think we are. And that Bart, I, I don't know about that. I just know that they brought a team like this down here for this particular night. Uh, I think they had confidence in us that we could beat these guys. Uh, world Wrestling Council doesn't want a representative like the Los Pastores to have their world tag team belts. They want somebody like us. And that's exactly what the point was to have us sign a match with these guys to prove that we are the best. And we always uh, invite uh, uh, all the wrestlers from all the other alliances, including the NWA, AWA, and the WWF to participate. If, if you think you're good, Ugo, well, the I think you're, I think you're influencing my brother. I don't I don't appreciate it at all, buddy. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Ugo, I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't worry ulcer, about that. My ulcer is starting to act up a little bit uh, here. I, I wouldn't get too upset over it, Ugo. I mean, you know, we have a difference of opinion here, but one thing we oh, do we're agree on. We're having a good on. time here. Now, yeah. now I'm in the middle of, uh, uh, I don't know. I, you know, well, let's talk about the match right here. We're all tag team towels on the line, hot Saturday night, and this is crazy. Look, Williams. Who's in the ring right now with Look Williams? Well, that's Brad, Ugo. And, you know, there, there they go to their tactics, the eye gouging, the eye ripping. Oh, they're good, good move right there, Leapfrog. Oh. Knee to the midsection, I mean, you know. So you took a knee, a knee from him, and then you were able to counterattack with the same maneuver. Good There's drop kick. There's a big kicks. drop kick right there. I tell you, you know, Ugo, I think this was a showcase for the sensational Batten Twins. There's a lot of people out there that didn't think we could do what we're doing right now on this screen, and everybody's homes with the big fat guy sitting there drinking a beer. He's watching exactly what the sensational Batten no, Twins wait, are wait, made Wait a minute, wait a minute. We, sh we should not uh, talk like that because there's... The good people watching us right well, now, and uh, I, I don't think, uh, you know, I'm kind of taking trust a little because I, I've got a kind of a beer belly myself, you know? Well, Hugo, if the shoe fits where I'm going to have to, and this is Brad speaking now, I have to, uh, you know, I can't disagree with what my brother's saying because we are showing the people right here that we are as good as any tag team in the world today. Oh, my God, this... I, I don't understand this. Well, I don't I'll tell you, right now, this. the New Zealand sheep herders right now, who go getting back to the match, have really got things going right now. Oh, there went for the big head, but we moved out of the way, and there's a drop kick, and I guarantee you, he wasn't expecting that. The uh, sheep herders are out back outside the ring. We're celebrating. We're fired up, and this was a big night for the sensational Batten Twins, regardless of what kind of scandal or controversy you or the promotion wanted to throw at us. Well, I, I'm not involved in any con conspiracy or anything. We just want to show the people around the world the best wrestling. And, and right now, we have witnessed uh, 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 already a tough uh, match here, and it's, it's getting even uh, hotter and better. Anyway, here we go. Good move by the Batten Twins, double teaming on the Sheep Herders. They're using the same strategy as the Sheep Herders uh, have done throughout all those years where they held so many championships. That's right, Hugo. You know, we studied a lot of film and it saw a lot of tapes and matches of the Sheep Herders before we uh, came out to this night to wrestle these guys. So we knew pretty much what was going on with them and how they uh, would wrestle in a match and the tactics they would use. Were they, on the other hand, I don't think uh, there's that much tape out on us, on our wrestling strategy. Oh, are you skill. kidding? And, there's uh, plenty of tapes on you guys. Well, I, I, don't think love these, your I don't think these guys saw them because uh, I think we had them off guard. We were really fired up for this match. And... Uh, you know, we were really psyched up, and here we are. We're going after him oh, again. Look, oh, look at that. From the floor there. I remember that. Butch Miller grabbing one of the boots of the Batten Twins, and now Luke Williams, the crazy one, all over. One of the what, Batten Twins I'll tell you what, Hugo. These guys are vicious. They're tenacious. They're rough. They're tough. They're brawlers. They're street fighters. Look oh. at that. Using the belt, our belt that we had on the line right there to try to do some extra damage on us. I mean, these guys That's are awful. obviously... That's awful. Hey, they're obviously five cards short of a full deck. You know what I mean? Yeah, no question about it. 
But there again, Bar, you know, this is a good chance for us to prove to everybody that we are just as tough and just as rough as these guys are. And uh, it was a good test for us. Why, why do we have night. to put our, excuse me, why do we have to put our life on the line with these guys? Though? Why can't oh, we there's wrestle? a big top well, rope there. Well, you are professional wrestlers. You are one of the top teams in the world. You currently have uh, recovered the world so, tag team uh, belts. And uh, you should know that this is it. This is the, the big leagues of professional wrestling. Illegal tactics by Butch Miller, the tank, using the belt again on the back of the head on one of the Batman twins, and the fans are really upset about it. I'll tell you, not as upset as I was, Ugo. I'm the one sitting there getting my head beat in by the belt. I'm getting it thrown into the table. That uh, ring was up on some kind of platform about a uh, foot off the floor. I fell over that. I've got knees. I've got everything else. Well, Why do you, I have to endure that? Are you complaining kind of... about the floor platform now, too? Because well, we did that to make sure that everybody in the arena was able to see all the action because this is hot Saturday night once a year every year in Puerto Rico well you know I, I don't uh, as far as what the people want to go at this particular stage of the game Mugo I'm not that concerned about that hey, I'm concerned about our wait a minute Bart listen to these people out here they're they're behind us the whole time they I think sometimes they feel the pain we feel and they can relate to what's going on with us in there I mean we're family and most everybody out there is family and they're they're with us all the way well, look I at all the cheap, you, look man. at all the cheap shots there why should I have to go through that? Why should you have to go through that? The people are so uh, open-minded and so resentful or not resentful, so respectful uh, of our talents. Well, well, Why do that? They were complaining to the referee because you were getting hurt there. Yeah, well, then what's the referee doing, Ugo? Look at him. Well, uh, Solis Carenta, the referee was having a lot of uh, trouble trying to control It's too crazy wrestlers from New Zealand. Well, there's Fast Eddie. He could have, you know, Eddie, hey, you could have helped me right there, get me back into the ring. Uh, well, that's illegal. You, you should not have any help from... Uh, uh, other people. Oh, then it's legal for him to throw me outside the ring and uh, no. hit me in the head with the belt? No, uh, no it's not. This, this sounds there? to me like a deja vu here. I'm starting to feel like I'm back with uh, Bobby Jaggers here. Hey. What's happening, guys? I'm, you know, I'm one of your well, buddies. What's you happening know? is I just had a sunset flip on one of the sheep herders and I had him pinned and the referees over there not doing what he's supposed to be doing and he wasn't counting the guy and we had him right there at least for a while. Now they're going back to beat me up again, Ugo. And they do what they do best, double team and they make those quick tacks and look uh -oh. at that knee. The specialty of the house, Butch Miller. You can tell, you can tell by my reaction on the apron there, Ugo, that uh, I've even felt that one. So at this, uh, this, this stage of the match, I was really concerned for Barr. I mean, he'd been out there taking a lot of punishment. Did you think you were going to be able to retain the titles at this point in the match? Tell you, you know, you, uh, you really can't be out there. Well, what's you your opinion on that? What's my opinion on that? I was never in doubt that we would. What about, what about your brother? What? Oh, Ugo, let me tell you, when we step in that ring, there's never any shred of doubt in our mind that the outcome is going to be our hands getting raised. Now granted this was a very tough match and there's a big forearm onto my chest that I felt real bad. But see, now we're starting to use the tactics that they use and it just goes to show you that we're going to do whatever we have to do to win. That's why I never get concerned about losing the belt. That's things that maybe you should worry about. Well, okay fans, I'm um, having uh, some uh, well, Ugo, Different I, opinions here. Well, I'm on your side, Ugo. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. Well, there, they, you they, see Ugo again, there. They're, they're we, have never, we have never seen two twins in action and then also narrate the matches. So this is very confusing for me. Well, the... You know, look at this New Zealand sheep herder right now, I Ugo. I'm going to get to the match. You guys can talk about whatever you want to talk about, but I'm going to be respectful to the people that bought this video, and I'm going to describe the action that's going on in the ring. It's a rear chin lock, almost a sleeper type of a hold, but still it's a type of hold that wears you down, and that's exactly what they're trying to do to me right now. What's the, the, the way to try to escape from this hold? Well, you just got to uh, reach down inside your guts, and if you know what I'm talking about, there's that special feeling, that never say die type of situation, that substance in your body that's not gonna let you give up. You reach down, you grab for whatever it takes to do whatever it takes to get over and tag my brother. And oh, see, the big head right there, and I moved out of the way, and now we've got a chance to get a little revenge back on these guys for the punishment they've been giving me. I can't find my way to the corner, and there I make the tag. Tell you, Ugo, I, I can tell you one thing right now. At this point in the match, I was, what was one on your mad. Mind right now? I was very mad. They abused my brother every Whoa. way possible, and all I wanted to do was just beat him up. Okay, now all over. Luke Williams and reversal here against the turnbuckle. Here he comes. Good move. Oh, and a sleeper. sleeper right there, Ugo. 
Oh. See the people right there. They think that might be in question, right? Well, no, he's not going to allow it. Okay, Butch Miller coming in and now. I'm not going to allow it. Four men in the ring. Hey, we knew right here, Hugo, we had to go after him or we might be in a little bit in danger of losing our belts. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, oh. now, here, what happened here? One, one of you was hit against uh, 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 Butch Miller. No, look, Williams. That's right. And there oh. I am trying to fight two guys at one time and hold my own a little bit. But there they finally got the best of me. And you can only go two on one yeah, they're, for so long. They're strong. Oh, good move. Drop kick. All right. See? And Butch Miller goes out of the ring. And it's now one on one. Now it's time to get back a little oh, revenge look, for what they were doing to me. And I tell you what, Hugo, I'm tired and I'm worn out. And I'm trying uh, there to. They he just comes right in. You know, Hugo, I'm supposed There's to be no the legal man in the ring, too. They got my. Uh, Bart in there. Oh, he's big the knee. Now the real rope goes. They say, that's going to make things a little different right there. And I'm going to go outside and I'm going to take care of what has to be done out oh, there. Oh, good move. Referee gets knocked out. Uh oh, out. there goes the referee. Yeah. I don't know who got the worst hit. The referee. Hey, why is the, the referee not counting, Hugo? That's what I want to know. Why he just, is he not He just counting? got hit. He just got hit. He just got oh, hit. Look out. He just got hit by the. Well, here comes the flag. How many times have the you pole. seen this happen? Oh, many times. Hey, Hugo, I'm here to tell you that uh, put a knot on my head for about a week and a half right there. I don't really remember much of the, after that stage of the match. Lights out for one of the bad things. What's this referee doing? And the controversial pinfall coming at this match as the New Zealand Sheepherders in this hot Saturday night. At this given time, you're absolutely right. Hot Saturday we night. We were hot champions. about that, Hugo. I, Hugo, like I gotta say, at uh, this point in the match, I'm down there on the mat. I really don't remember much until really a couple hours later. Celebration. Back at home. Celebration time for the New Zealand team. But, oh, wait a minute. Another referee comes into the ring. Ricky See, Vargas. See, now there, there is justice. See, there's a Ricky Vargas. You got to give credit where credit is due. He's an intelligent referee. He knows what the sheep herders are capable of. And he was watching the match to make sure that what just happened wouldn't happen. And they get the belts on a cheap shot. And it looks like, as far as I'm concerned, well, I know for a fact, he came out and did oh, like, the rifle thing and gave the, the titles right here. back to us. Exactly right. Okay, by this qualification, the Bethan Twins retain the World Tag Team we Championship. We the promotion anyway. And it's hot. Saturday night, it's getting hotter here in the studio too. Let's take you now to the next match. 